Hi everyone, now I'm going to briefly explain what proteomics is. Proteomics is the large scale and systematic study of all proteins expressed in living cells under certain environment. Proteome is dynamic and often changes when living cells are exposed to hormone stimulation, medication, toxin, unusual temperature, radiation, and many more. Although still less mature than other approaches, proteomics offer insight into the full complexity of a given disease because proteins are downstream of genetic variation and transcriptional changes they can provide snapshots of the state of a cell or organism. Proteome samples can be analyzed in different ways. We can analyze proteome sample using gel-based approach and also gel-free approach. In gel-based proteomics, experiment starts with protein extraction. Using various methods such as cell lysis, sonication, and homogenization. Relevant protease inhibitors are often incorporated into lysis buffer to minimize protein sample degradation. Protein extract is then separated based on pH value in isoelectric focusing. Proteins migrate in IPG gel strip and become immobilized when they reach their isoelectric point at which they become sweeter ion having equal number of positive and negative charges. Protein extracts can be further separated after isoelectric focusing. We need to place the IPG gel strip at the top of polyacrylamide gel and allow polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis which is based on molecular mass. Considering both isoelectric focusing and polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, protein extract is separated based on pH and molecular mass. Polyacrylamide gel is stained to visualize protein spots. Several available staining methods include Kumasi Brilliant Blue, Silver Nitrate and Fluorescent Staining. In most cases, each protein spot represents an individual protein. Then, what should we do after gel image analysis? We excise protein spots of interest either using manual approach or automated system. Distain the excise protein spots and incubate with trypsin enzyme. Tryptic peptides are further incubated with extraction buffer and supernatant is used for mass spectrometry analysis. Tandem mass spectrometry is mass analysis technique using two or more mass analyzers that are coupled together. In tandem mass spectrometer, there are several components, namely ion source, analyzer 1 for selection of parent ion, analyzer 2 for fragmentation of parent ion, analyzer 3 for mass analysis of daughter ion, and ion detector. All peptides need to be completely ionized so that they can travel in this instrument according to their mass to charge ratio and finally reach the ion detector. Examples of tandem mass spectrometer include triple quadrupole and quadrupole 
time of light. New learners may have questions like, what is the advantage of tandem mass spectrometer? How could tandem mass spectrometer be useful to us? The answer is that tandem mass spectrometers have many applications. It is useful in newborn screening, disease diagnosis, toxicity testing, and many more. This is time of flight mass spectrometer. All peptides need to be completely ionized before traveling in this flight tube. All ionized peptides travel in vacuum. Therefore, the separation is based on mass to charge ratio. Different peptide fragments have different mass to charge ratio values. Heavier peptide fragments travel slower than lighter peptide fragments. In other words, heavier peptide fragments have longer travel time than lighter peptide fragments.